Hi, Namaste and a very warm welcome to the Skin Doctor channel. I am Dr. Sujit Kumar, your dermatologist. A few days back, a young man walked into my clinic with swelling and redness on his lips. The moment he walked into my clinic, I had a diagnosis in my mind and that was Steven Johnson syndrome. The first question I asked him was, did you take any medications before this happened? And he said no. But when I examined him, he couldn't open his mouth. His entire mouth was swollen. The skin on the lips had peeled off. The lining of the mouth had peeled off and he couldn't open his mouth properly. He couldn't even eat solid food for the last three days and on further questioning he said he had pain and discomfort in the penis too and when I examined that area I found that the urinary outlet the urethra had been inflamed now I was damn sure that I'm seeing a case of Steven Johnson syndrome after several rounds of questioning he remembered and agreed that he had taken one tablet of paracetamol four or five days back when he had a headache with this I was very sure that I'm seeing a case of Steven Johnson syndrome paracetamol is a very common drug which people use for headaches and fevers which is easily available everywhere at a very small price it, it is available over the counter at the pharmacy or at the supermarket everywhere you can get paracetamol and paracetamol is a wonder drug only a person who had a very severe throbbing headache with which you feel like you know ending your life and then just you pop a pill of paracetamol and the relief you get only a person with a headache relieved by paracetamol knows the value of the medicine called paracetamol i'm not blaming paracetamol paracetamol is a wonder drug a wonder medicine a great invention in the history of medicine which is a very 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 useful medicine and with very less side effects compared to so many other medicines but then what i'm warning you is paracetamol can cause this potentially life-threatening disease or allergy called a Steven Johnson syndrome which may progress to a much severe disease called as toxic epidermonecrolysis or TEN which can even cause death might be one in several thousands of people may get an allergy to paracetamol but then it does cause allergy there have been several reports of paracetamol causing Steven Johnson syndrome and that's why I said paracetamol can rarely cause Steven Johnson syndrome so we have to keep this in mind so Steven Johnson syndrome is a potentially life-threatening serious drug allergy which may progress to a much fatal kind of allergy called as TEN or toxic epidermonecrolysis which can even cause death now the difference between SJS and TEN the Steven Johnson syndrome and the toxic epidermal necrolysis is the amount of body surface involved if the body surface involved is less than 10% then we call it a Steven Johnson syndrome and anyway from 10 to 30% we call it as an overlap of SJS and TEN and if it is more than 30% that is if 30% or more of the body surface area is involved then we call it as TEN or toxic epidermal necrolysis. The most common medicines which cause SJS TEN are the anti-epileptic medicines which we give for the fits uh, drugs like carbamazepine, lamotrigine, phenobarbital all these can cause uh, Steven Johnson syndrome even antibiotics like penicillin and sulfonamides can cause Steven Johnson syndrome painkillers which we call as the NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which we use commonly for the joint pains and you know body pain and all that these medicines can cause Steven Johnson syndrome once the diagnosis of Steven Johnson syndrome is made the patient should get the best care possible and if it is progressing into TEN the patient should be admitted and treated with a uh, team of doctors what we call as a multidisciplinary approach where doctors from different specialities come together to treat the patient the tra patient needs to be seen by an ophthalmologist by a physician by a surgeon who is a burn specialist uh, by a dermatologist it's a multidisciplinary approach and the patient needs very 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 sophisticated and very good care and in an ICU setup in an intensive care unit setup so that we can save the patient I've seen several cases of TEN when I was doing my post graduation and I'd seen how nice our professors had managed those cases and it was a real experience seeing those patients and seeing the suffering of these patients is really really painful because uh, we make the patient sleep on you know uh, on banana leaves I've seen I've seen patients being made to sleep on banana leaves by our professors because anything else will uh, make the skin stick to the uh, fabric or whatever and it causes a lot of uh, discomfort and you know uh, problem to the patient the most common long-term complications of Steven Johnson syndrome and TEN could be involvement of the eyes which may lead to blindness as I told you Steven Johnson syndrome TEN can be fatal and people may even lose their lives and the most common cause of death is usually a severe infection all over the body which we call as sepsis and the patient may die because of multi-organ failure or 
or failure of the different organs of the body. There could be severe bleeding in the stomach. There could be some problem in the lungs, which we call as pulmonary embolism. There could be myocardial infarction or heart attack. And various things like these may lead to the death of the patient. So the take home message for today is that just don't pop a pill when you have a small headache. Don't take a pill unless you really, really, really require to take it. Please see a doctor when you have an illness. Always take medications on advice of a doctor under supervision of a doctor. One more thing I would like to remind you is that patient having allergy to one drug may have a cross reaction to several other drugs which may belong to the same category. People in the same family may be having a common drug allergies because of genetic predisposition. A patient having allergy to a certain drug might have family members having allergy to the same drug. So family members also should be careful if someone in the family has a drug allergy. So with this we come to the end of this video. Hope you like this video. If you did like please give a thumbs up which really means a lot to me. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you next time. Namaste. Bye and take care.